Uh, so something that has been sent to me numerous, numerous, numerous times on Instagram is uh, a post by uh, this woman who her, her own Instagram name is uh, Fat Fab Feminist, okay? Uh, so this, um, this post right here, I have it on my screen, is from her and it says, not nearly enough of you understand what fat phobia is nor do you understand the way it impacts our lives every day. Uh, to make it super easy for you, here's a helpful pie chart by whoever that is on Insta that can clari clarify it for you all. If you're thin, read this. Apparently, if you're not thin, you're not supposed to read it. <laughs> uh, okay, so next. So, oh wait, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. That's the next picture. How do I go? There we go. Uh, what people think fat phobia is, I hate fat people literal fear of fat people this one literal fear when people use that like i'm not fat phobic i don't i'm not afraid of fat people that's just I, when people say that i'm like that's just like stupid <laughs> like no one actually thinks that right um i don't even think it's really i i don't know many people that even say that it's i hate fat people i would say it's more uh like true fat phobia is treating fat people poorly and maybe not hate I guess you could say that though I would say more people would assume it's this right and so this is what this uh, this pie chart uh, is okay holy okay let me can I zoom in on this okay perfect again um, okay so let's go over this I hate fat people I would agree with that online harassment I would I would slightly agree with that only dating thin people I haven't read all of these. Uh, only dating thin people. I think that that everyone is allowed to have their own. Um, everyone is allowed to have their own likes and dislikes as far as like you know body size and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't call that fat phobia. I would just say that that's a preference, right? Uh, limiting limited clothing options. The fat tax. Um, I don't. Again, I don't think that that's fat phobia. It's just as far as like retailers are concerned. Of course, they're going to make sizes for, that are going to fit most people. Like for me, when I was in a 5XL, I wasn't, I never thought, wow, these retailers are fat phobic. I just thought, well, it makes sense. There's not as many people that are my size, right? Uh, small seat sizes. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just I, fat. I don't understand how that could be fat phobia. It's just the way that seats are designed. Like you can't expect like, you know, a lot of times when people talk about seat sizes, uh, they talk about like airlines, but you can't expect airlines to make bigger seats. And then now, now they have, they basically, you're, you're going to tell airlines they have to lose money, right? That's kind of where that comes, that comes to, right? Um, being told to lose weight to cure illness, illnesses. Um, I would say that there's certain things that losing weight certainly can help with. Um, not everything, of course, but I mean, I, I don't think that just ever saying maybe if you lost weight it might help your diabetes i don't think that's fat phobia right um false measures like bmi we've talked about bmi i think bmi is uh pretty flawed but you know it is what it is diet culture slash industry again we've talked about that too right like um everyone has different words or different definitions of what diet culture is and so it's hard to really have a a response to that okay uh, being scared of weight gain. Now, I think that it's totally okay to not, maybe not want to gain weight. I don't think that that makes you a, like, see, it's stuff like this. It's posts like this. It's posts like this where um, I, I talk about this stuff a lot and people are like, there's no one that's like that. There's no one that like, if you say, oh, I don't want to gain weight, that makes you fat phobic. Or, or if you want to lose weight or like before and after pictures, right? There's no one that actually says that, but there are. This, this girl has, you know, almost 60,000 followers, right? And so there are people that say this, okay? Uh, teasing about eating habits. I, I mean, that happens to everyone. Um, health policing unsolicited advice. Again, that happens to everyone, um, not just fat people. Uh, fat body suits and costumes. Um, I mean, I can, I can see that one a little bit more, you know, like having, um, you know, slimmer actresses or actors uh, be like get get put in fat suits and then treated as you know fat people uh but i don't know because like <laughs> i remember austin powers i'm not sure if you guys remember austin powers but fat bastard was like i was fat when that movie came out and i thought it was hilarious and i loved him and it's funny because he has he had the loose skin at the end of whatever episode it was 
and I was like, I didn't realize how accurate that was going to be to me. <laughs> um, COVID weight gain jokes. I don't understand how that's fat phobia. It's just a joke, you know? Uh, okay. And political cartoons, jokes that equate Trump's evil with his size. Uh, I mean, I would say that it's just, they like, political cartoons always pick on people's, like, most defining features, right? They pick on his hair as well. Um, flattering, slimming, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't understand what that is. Um, only featuring and listening to thin people. Again, I, I don't really understand what that's about. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read the chat, but I get, it's too much, too many words. <laughs> uh, complimenting weight loss. Again, like I do th with that, I can see how that would be, uh, could be considered like problematic in some circles. Uh, because again, just because you lost weight, that's not going to solve everything. And, and all weight loss doesn't mean that it's healthy, right? All weight loss isn't a good thing. And so that is one thing that I can see, um, that's something that I could see us maybe trying to work on and maybe find a better way to to go about that um, Because I do think that sometimes people end up getting complimented on their weight loss and they're not doing it in a healthy way And then it ends up being um, You know it ends up they go down a really unhealthy path path because they want to keep getting those compliments, right? Uh, okay Complimenting weight loss before and after pictures exactly I said it I knew it was gonna come up I haven't I have not looked at I have not read all of these before and after pictures, like I, kn I knew that people don't believe me when I say that, but people get called fat phobic because they post before and after pictures and no one ever believes me when I say that. It's true, it's a true thing. Um, only having thin friends, uh, again, like, I mean, I, I don't only have thin friends, but especially if you're someone that is enjoys uh, the gym, enjoys working out, uh, and that's where your social cir circle kind of, that's where you get your friends from, it, it makes sense for some people to only have thin friends but it's like because they enjoy the same things that you enjoy right i don't think there's anything wrong with that uh tv shows like the biggest loser that that's one that i think i mean you guys have you guys have seen all the videos i've made about the biggest loser and how i think it can be problematic i do think that there's ways that it can be uh helpful but uh yeah i mean the biggest loser has some problems for sure uh using euphemisms instead of just saying fat uh, like chubby or something like that is what that might be about. I'm not exactly sure. Um, okay. Believing only thin people can wear bikinis, yoga pants, etc. I don't, I don't know much people that will say like bigger people can't wear yoga pants. I, I mean, bikinis, I would say it's less about, I would say it's less about what other people think, but a lot of times it's just hard for the person that might be bigger to to wear it and feel comfortable in it. I knew I wasn't comfortable wearing, like going shirtless when I when I was at my biggest. I, I don't think that that was um, like fat phobic of me. <laughs> I just was like, I don't really want to show this, right? Um, when are you due? Yikes, yeah, that's a <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever ask a woman if she's pregnant. <laughs> I don't care how pregnant it looks like she is. Just don't do it. Um, assuming fat people hate their bodies slash want to lose weight. Um, again, like, I don't know many people that assume that you hate your body. Um, if, like, for me, it's like if anyone is in my circle or, like, they're at my channel or they're watching my videos, I'm assuming that they are trying to lose weight because that's what my channel is about, right? So, for me, maybe, maybe that makes me fat phobic. I don't know. Um, labeling thin bodies as normal i've never labeled the body as normal so uh fat people getting paid less i don't really know anything about that um life slash health and health insurance discrimination and then the war on obesity and then she has the obesity kind of uh scratched off there now there are a couple other posts that i wanted to go uh through from her page um so this is one right here that she posted. Um, and it says, uh, let's see, let's move this over a little bit. So it says, fat phobia isn't just an inconvenience. It isn't just hurt feelings. Fat phobia is a threat to our lives. Growing up, I had an irregular period for years. And every time I asked my doctor who told me I had to lose weight to fix it, uh, told me I had to lose weight to fix it. When in reality, I had a 19 centimeter, I think that's what that is, uh, cyst on my left ovary. 
Uh, I like th what I always say to anyone. Like, if you are going to the doctor and they are refusing to really look at anything other than it's your weight, it's your weight, it's your weight. You need to go to a different doctor, right? Like, you need to, you need to, you need to literally just take it into your own hands and be like, okay, this person obviously isn't listening to what I'm saying, and you need to find a new doctor. It sucks that you have to do that, and it sucks that that's something you have to take into your own hands. But it is something that that you can do, right? Um, so this one goes on to say, um, that cyst destroyed my left ovary. They cut me open from one end to the other across the stomach. The ovary couldn't be saved and it had to be surgically, surgically removed. I was only 16 years old. Uh, turns out I have PCOS, which contributes to my weight and inability to lose it. Now, obviously that sounds horrible and like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that she had to go through that. Um, but I think that just to say, it, it seems like she's just kind of like putting her weight onto her, you know, her PCOS and being like, it's my PCOS. That's why I struggle losing weight. When I, from, from what I've seen, from the amount of people I've spoken to, the amount of women I've spoken to that have PCOS, um, yes, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it doesn't mean that it's impossible to lose weight. It doesn't mean that it's impossible to, you know, like to try and work on that. And, uh, I think that. I think that um, it's kind of, it makes other people that might have PCOS feel like, oh, well, what's the point? I can't even try. I shouldn't even try, right? Um, okay, so, and then fat phobia isn't just bullying. It's not the lack of clothing options. It's not the daily harassment. Um, it's not just the lower pay or lower likelihood to get a job. Fat phobia is deadly. Fat phobia kills. Uh, we are human beings. You don't but you don't see us, you just see our fatness. Now, again, it's like, it seems like we are equating your size to these other, you know, legitimate issues that people have because maybe the color of their skin or maybe their sexual orientation. And I don't think that that's right. Like to be, um, to be equating like, oh, I'm, I'm treated poorly because of my weight as the same as I'm treated poorly because of my um, ethnicity, I think that that's wrong. And I think that there's a video here in the next one. Hopefully you guys can hear it. I want to tell you guys about one of the ways that being fat has affected my life. So a few years ago, I was really struggling with back pain. I'd been going to my doctor for several years and she always gave me the normal, you're fat, lose weight. So finally I did it. Start so I said this earlier, but it's like, if you're going to this person for years and years and years and they're refusing to help you, why are you why are you continuing to go to them? I don't understand. Like why would you not go somewhere else if you really felt like this back pain was as bad as it is? And I, I'm not saying you're lying or anything like that, but if it's really that bad and you, they're refusing to look at anything other than your weight, find another doctor. Like why are you putting yourself in this situation? I don't understand. Like I don't understand that. I I really really don't. I, again, I don't know I don't know her situation. Maybe there is no other doctor or something, but like, I, I don't know. I don't understand why it's fat phobia when you could just literally go to somewhere else. I don't know. Going to the gym, started eating healthy and guess what? My back pain got worse. One morning I woke up and it was so bad that I could not sit or stand for about 12 hours. When my mom finally forced me out of bed, the moment my foot touched the floor, it went numb. I went to a pain doctor and it took one little x-ray to see the shattered disc in my back. I mean, that sounds really, really, like, really painful, for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry that she went through that. Um, but like like she just said, she, she went to a pain doctor, so she went to a different doctor. And I don't understand why, like, she didn't do that earlier. And And then the other thing, and less about what she's going through but like you know let's just keep watching this inform me that it was in no way related my weight it's been two years since surgery and i still don't have all the feeling in my left foot and i probably never will because when my doctor looked at me they didn't see a person they saw a fat person if you know something's wrong and your doctor's not listening find a different doctor well i mean she said it herself i guess i think that Obviously, that's a horrible thing, but that's just like that's anecdotal like that's her personal experience and the thing is is that 
I can speak to, I'm sure a lot of you guys in chat right now, that you you lost weight and it helped your back pain or it helped your foot pain or it helped all of these other things that you were dealing with. It helped your, it helped your diabetes. It helped your uh, high blood pressure. Like it helped all of these things. So yes, I mean, going to the gym and losing weight didn't solve her back pain because she had a shattered disc and obviously that's not going to work. But like, but just, just because that was her experience doesn't mean that's for everyone. And I would say for more people, that's not the experience. That's the opposite of what their experience is, right? And again, I don't know what she was doing in the gym. I don't know how she hurt her back. She could have been doing something that was really dangerous. I don't know. But it's like, she, she has this worldview and she's like saying these things like it's everyone has this opinion. Everyone, everyone went through the same thing I did. But for the most people, people that are losing weight and that are doing that usually their their back does start to feel better their knees do start to feel better and so i wanted to so this is this is what the uh the girl looks like and uh she is 20 years old okay um and i think that that's it's not really about what she looks like but the fact is how young she is right it is when you're that young you're not gonna have really any issues from your from your weight probably yet and like you're like you can be a pretty big size like i was i was probably bigger than she is um when i was 20 and i didn't have any serious issues right like i was i was doing okay um i didn't have any serious pains that were like debilitating uh, but i know if i continue down that road i was going to deal with those things right and that's the thing that I've, I've talked about a lot is like just because you're not having problems right now doesn't mean that in the future you're not going to have those problems, right? And so I don't know. I just I saw this that post and a lot of people have been have been sending it to me. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to talk about it real quick. Mm -hmm.